If you are planning to write the TISNET 2022 exam, stay with me for the next 15 odd minutes. I am going to talk about the most important section of the TISNET exam, the general awareness section. You would already know that the general awareness section is the make or break section as far as the TISNET exam is concerned. And this is especially so if you are looking for an admit to the HR or the ODCL courses. So what is the idea? The idea is to come up with a series of sessions, not one, not two, but a full set of eight odd sessions, eight to 10 sessions, I would say. And we have known that the TISNET questions appear from a certain number of areas, environment, politics, uh, sorry, polity, economy, sports, national news, arts and culture, history, constitution and so on. So what we have done is, we have assembled from each area around 30 questions, which relate to the last 12 months current affairs. And every session we will devote to one topic. For example, today's session is devoted to environment and ecology. And we will present to you question by question. And wherever possible, I will try to add value to the questions or to the solutions that I provide. My name is Manish Kane and I welcome all of you to this very important session on TISNET general awareness. Welcome. So here is the first question. What is the new name of the Ram Katha Park situated in Ayodhya? The answer to that question is the Ram Sita, sorry, Queen Yo Wang Ok Memorial. So you might be surprised by that name and it is believed that she was born as Princess Suri Ratna of Ayodhya and she travelled to South Korea in 48 AD. She is almost a mythical figure. She is believed to have married the king over there and she and the king started the Karak clan in South Korea at that time and in her honour the park has been renamed as Queen Yo Wang Ok Memorial Park. Next question, which country became the first BRICS country to join the High Ambition Coalition for Nature and People? So the first BRICS country, the correct answer here is India. Now the first thing is, what is BRICS? BRICS is basically a group of countries comprising Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. So of these countries, India has become the first country to join the High Ambition Coalition. The next question is, what is this High Ambition Coalition? So it's an intergovernmental group of people. It was started by Costa Rica, France and Britain in the year 2019. The aim of this group is to preserve 30% of global land and ocean area by the year 2030. And that is why it is called as Global 30 by 30 goal. The idea is to ensure that we are witnessing a loss of species on this planet. So by preserving the forest area, by preserving our oceans, we can halt this accelerating loss of species on our planet. So high ambition coalition. Currently, there are 70 member countries of this coalition. Next question. Which railway station in the Indore district of Madhya Pradesh has been renamed as the Tatya Bheel Railway Station? So the correct answer to that question is Patal Pani. So Tatya Bheel was a revolutionary. In fact, he took part in the first war of India's independence in 1857. He used to wage a war against the British by looting the treasury of the British. And what he did was he looted the treasury and distributed among the poor. In this India ka Robin Hood bhi kaha In 1889, he was hanged by the British, hanged to death by the British. Next, the Global Methane Pledge aims to cut down methane emissions by what percent by 2030? So the correct answer here is by 30%. Now, Global Methane Pledge was first announced by the United States and the European Union 
and it's essentially nothing but an agreement to reduce the global methane production or emissions i'm sorry now it aims to cut down the emissions by 30% from what levels from the 2020 levels so this 30% reduction is not from any other year but from the 2020 level so according to a recent report on climate change it is believed that methane accounts for half of the one degree net rise in global average temperature and that is why it is important to cut down on global methane emissions next where is india's largest aromatic garden being developed the correct answer to this question is lal kua now india's biggest aromatic garden it boasts of 140 species of aromatic trees flowers lal kua is situated in the nainital district the, this garden has been developed over an area of three acres by the research wing of Uttarakhand Forest Department. An interesting fact to know here is Lal Kua was selected as the site for the garden to offset the perpetual stench that comes out from the paper industry in that area. The garden has Tulsi Vatika which contains more than 20 species of Tulsi. It also has aromatic leaves such as rosemary, mint and lemon balm. It also has aromatic flowers like Chameli, Mogra, Rajnigandha, etc. and aromatic trees like Chandan, Neem and Pareja. Next, which comic character has been chosen as the official mascot of Namami Gange program? So the correct answer here is Chacha Chaudhary. So Chacha Chaudhary is a very old and popular comic book character. It was conceptualized initially by an artist by the name of Pran Kumar Sharma. Incidentally, Pran Kumar Sharma is also associated with some other cartoon characters, namely uh, Bablu, Pinky, and Lucky. These were some popular cartoon characters created by Pran Kumar Sharma. So, basically, why Chacha Chaudhary was chosen? He was chosen to sensitize youngsters and youth on the cleaning of Ganga river and other river program. Next, which national park is set to become India's newest tiger reserve? The correct answer is Guru Ghasidas National Park, basically in Chhattisgarh. So in Chhattisgarh, I think this is the fourth tiger reserve now. Next, which day is observed as the World Animal Day? The correct answer is 4th of October, which is observed as the World Animal Day. Next question. Which is the country's first government-owned wildlife DNA analysis laboratory? Where is the? So, the place is Nagpur. Now, this is the country's first state government-owned wildlife laboratory. I think the central government already owns such labs in Dehradun. Yes, Dehradun. And what is the significance of this DNA analysis? Now, this kind of analysis goes a long way in prosecuting animal poachers. So, the animals who are smuggled, they are poaching in the labs. Because these labs are able to identify and connect animals with the poachers who are involved in that event of poaching. एक पोचर की गन पे अगर कोई ब्लड का ड्रॉपलेट होगा या सूखा हुआ ब्लड भी होगा तो उससे अंदाज लग जाता है कि कौन से एनिमल का ब्लड है जिससे आप पोचर को पकड़ सकते हो और पोचिंग या एनिमल की जो एनिमल को जो मारा जाता है इसमें आप रोकथाम कर सकते हो नेक्स्ट व्हिच प्लेस हैज इंडियाज हाईएस्ट हर्बल पार्क द करेक्ट आंसर टू दैट क्वेश्चन इज चमोली सो इंडियाज हाईएस्ट हर्बल पार्क ये चमोली डिस्ट्रिक्ट के मना शहर में है और ये उत्तरखंड में सिचुएटेड है दिस पार्क विल हेल्प कंजर्व सेवरल मेडिसिनल एंड कल्चरली इंपॉर्टेंट एल्पाइन स्पीशीज ठीक है एल्पाइन स्पीशीज मतलब क्या उस तरह के प्लांट्स और स्पीशीज जो हाई एलिवेशन या हाई ऑल्टीट्यूड में ग्रो होते हैं और उस तरह के एनवायरमेंट में अपने आप को अडेप्ट कर लेते हैं 
Next, which state has launched the Fishwale app in India? The correct answer here is Assam. So Assam launched Fishwale app, which is India's first e-fish market. Now, what is this app going to do? It will help the buyers and the sellers to place orders and sell fish online. So it is definitely going to help the fish farming community and it will help reduce or eliminate middlemen in the fish trade. Next, urban heat island refers to. So basically urban heat island is nothing but a metropolitan area that is significantly warmer than the surrounding areas. Now, dekho, metropolitan areas mein alag alag tarah ki cheeze hoti hai. For example, wahan pe concrete hoga, wahan pe footpath hogi, wahan pe road hogi. Aur in cheeze ke karan, wahan ka temperature generally surrounding areas se thoda sa zyada hoga. Aur aise urban area ko urban heat island kehte hai. Next, which Indian state is home to dancing deer? So, the correct answer is Manipur. So, dancing deer is also known by another name called Sangai. So, it is an endangered subspecies of deer which is found in Manipur. And its common English name is brow antlered deer. Or ye kaha milta hai? Kibul Lamjao National Park mein hi paaya jata hai Manipur mein. Next question, the largest single transfer of rhinos which was undertaken recently was from Dash to Rwanda. The correct answer is South Africa. Now, why was this transfer undertaken? The transfer was undertaken because they wanted to stop the illegal smuggling of animals or rhinos in that particular area. So, this brings us to an end of this particular edition of the GK session. Please let us know your views on this session. If you like something about it, let us know. If you want us to add something, please do let us know. Your comments, your feedback is always welcome. And please do not forget to subscribe to our channel Pathfinder for me if you do not want to miss out on updates related to this Tisnet GK series. Thank you very much.